Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing tangents and seconds of a circle. So let's have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to letter A, identify the seconds, tangents, segments, and sectors of a circle. Letter B, name the seconds, tangents, segments, and sectors of a circle. And letter C, value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding. So let's have first the tangent line. So when we say tangent, it is a line which is coplanar with the circle and intersect it at most one point. So in this figure, circle A has two tangents, which is line M and line N are tangents of circle A. And then tangent forms a 90 degrees or a right angle with one of the radius, meaning to say radius AX is perpendicular to tangent N. And then we have the point of tangency in which it is the point where the tangent intersects the circle. So in this case, the point of tangency in circle A is point X and point T. So let's now proceed with the second. When we say second, it is a line that intersects a circle at exactly two points and it contains a chord of a circle. So in this given, we have circle C and then the two seconds of circle C are line TA and line DB. So we also have second and tangent segments. So when we say tangent segment, it is the point of a tangent line between the point of contact and a point outside the circle. So in this given figure, we have segment TB as our tangent segment. And then next we have a second segment. And when we say second segment, it is a part of a second line that joins a point outside the circle to the farther intersection point of the second and the circle. So in this given figure, we have a second segment, which is segment AR. So this one is the second segment. And also we have the external second segment. So when we say external second segment, it is a part of the second segment that is outside the circle. So in this case, our second segment is segment AR. So the part of the second segment which is outside the circle is segment BR. Therefore, the external second segment will be segment BR. So next, let's have the sector of the circle. So when we say sector of the circle, it is the region bounded by an arc of the circle and the two radii to the endpoints of the arc. So in this figure, the region bounded by angle BCA is the sector of circle C. So the white portion of the circle is the sector of circle C. And also we have the segment of a circle. So when we say segment of the circle, it is a region bounded by an arc and the segment joining its endpoint. So in this given figure, the region bounded by segment ED is the segment of circle C. So we have your segment ED or chord ED. So the region bounded by it is called the segment of the circle. So this portion is the segment of circle C. So let us now use circle M below to identify and name the following parts of the circle. Number one, let's have the tangent line. So when you say tangent, it intersects the circle at exactly one point. So looking at the figure, so the tangent here is line segment DE because it intersects the circle at exactly one point, which is the point of tangency is point J. So we have line segment DE is tangent of circle M. 
and then next let's have the second of the circle so the second of a circle intersects the circle at exactly two point and it contains a chord so in this case the second of the circle m is second j k because it contains a chord which is segment j k and we have second l k because it also contains a chord which is chord lb so we have line segment jk and line segment lk as the second of circle m next let's have the external second segment so when we say external second segment these are part of second segment which is located outside the circle so if the second segment is segment jk then the external part or the external second segment is segment AK. And then if the second segment is segment LK, then the external second segment is segment BK. The next is have the tangent segment, which is segment DJ and segment JE. So we have two tangent segments. And then next is have the sector of the circle. So the sector of the circle M is the region bounded by angle J, M, E. So this one will be the sector of the circle. And then we have the segment of the circle. So the segment of the circle here is the region bounded by segment J, E. So this one is the segment of the circle. So let's have our next example. Use circle M below to identify and name the following. Number one, the tangent line. So let us identify the tangent line. So the tangent line intersects the circle at exactly one point. So we have line segment XA as the tangent of circle M. And then X let's have the second line. So the second line intersects the circle at exactly two points and it contains a chord. So we have two seconds in this given circle. So we have second J, K, and second K, L. Because it intersects the circle at exactly two points and it contains a chord. So we have chord J, C, which is a part of second J, K. We have chord L, D, which is a part of second K, L. And the next is of the external second segment. So when we say external second segment, this is a part of second segment that is located outside the circle. So if the second segment is segment JK, then its external second segment is segment CK. If the second segment is segment KL, then its external second segment is segment DK, the segment outside the circle. And then next is have the tangent segment. So the tangent in the given figure is tangent x a, and its point of tangency is point L. So meaning to say we have two tangent segments. So we have tangent segment L a or a l, and tangent segment L x. So these are the two tangent segments of the circle. And then after that we have the sector of the circle. So the sector of the circle M is the region bounded by angle J, M, L. So this part, so the semicircle is the sector of the circle. And then lastly, we have the segment of the circle. So the segment of the circle M is the region bounded by segment C, J, this part, and the region bounded by segment T, L, this part.